In this series, I've told you how to obtain a number of different powers. Wall crawling, mind control, shape shifting, regeneration, just to name a few. But these are only useful for dealing with global threats. Say there's a black hole about to consume the sun or an alien armada is planning to blow the earth to pieces. For that, you're gonna have to take the fight off planet. Sure, you can put on an exosuit, but what if a plasma knife cuts your O2 hose or a photon torpedo compromises your containment seal? If that happens, you're done for because it is impossible for an organism to survive in the vacuum of space. Or is it? I'm Rusty Ward, and I've seen a lot of people die in space. In movies. Sometimes their eyes pop out of their head like in Total Recall, or their faces immediately petrify like Tim Robbins in Mission to Mars. In real life, your eyes stay in your head and you don't die instantaneously, but it is incredibly messy. The first thing that happens is your stomach and bowels completely void everything. Lunch out the front, breakfast out the back. In Guardians of the Galaxy, when Star-Lord romantically saved Gamora by taking off his oxygen mask and giving it to her, they left out the part where he projectile vomited all over her face. And all the air in your lungs goes too. Don't try to hold on to it. If you try to hold your breath, the gas will expand and rupture your lungs. You're not going to freeze instantly because you lose heat more slowly in a vacuum. When you're not surrounded by air molecules, your body heat doesn't have anything it can conduct into and that leaves you with only losing heat through radiation and water loss. Speaking of which, the water in your body that's exposed to the outside will begin to boil, but it won't burn because in space, water doesn't need to get hot in order to boil. Water needs pressure in order to remain in liquid form. The lower the pressure in an environment, the lower the boiling temperature. Since there's practically no pressure in space, all water turns to gas. As more liquid in your soft tissue turns to vapor, these gases expand and your body becomes swollen and bloated. At the 15 second mark, the lack of oxygen getting to your brain causes you to pass out. You're not dead yet though. If you're rescued in the next couple minutes, you'll probably be okay. You might be asking, how do we know this? Well, there have been some accidents where humans were caught in a vacuum, but mainly we know this because NASA did extensive experiments in the 1960s with dogs and chimps. Dogs can survive for 90 seconds in a vacuum. Chimpanzees can survive for three and a half minutes. Three and a half minutes does not leave you a lot of time to be picked up by a galactic good Samaritan. You're gonna need to be able to last longer out there. But the obstacles a living organism has to overcome in order to survive in space seem insurmountable. How can we deal with a complete lack of oxygen and pressure, not to mention dangerous levels of solar radiation? We should start by looking at the one organism that seems to have already figured all this out, the tardigrade. The tardigrade is one millimeter long. Most of them are herbivores, but some feed on other microanimals. They're extremophiles organisms obsessed with wakeboarding and BMX biking, or organisms that thrive in extreme environments. They can withstand levels of heat, cold, pressure, and radiation that don't even occur naturally on this planet. This has led some to speculate that tardigrades didn't originate from Earth. Scientists are pretty sure they did, but if we were invaded by aliens, I really hope it would be these guys. Do you want to enslave us? Nah, we're just looking for algae. When things get really tough, tardigrades curl up and enter a state of suspended animation. At this point, they're referred to as a ton. Tardigrades have remained in a ton state for decades at a time, and then when they're placed in a hospitable environment, they wake up as if not even a day has gone by. In 2007, the European Space Agency sent thousands of tardigrades into space two-thirds of them survived, some of them being pregnant females that gave birth after returning, and the babies had the chubbiest cheeks. It was adorable. So what's their secret? That's what scientists are trying to figure out. You see, when tardigrades enter a ton state, they dehydrate themselves. This prevents microscopic ice crystals from forming that could damage cells. 
It also reduces radiation damage because it cuts down on the harmful reactive molecules that can be created when radiation hits water. So dehydrating yourself is the answer. It protects you from cold and radiation and you don't have to worry about the liquid in your body turning into vapor and clogging up your arteries. The only problem is that for most animals, dehydration equals death. The few species that can survive dehydration do so by creating a sugar called trehalose. Trehalose wraps itself around and protects proteins, membranes, and a bunch of other things that could be damaged due to a lack of water. For a little while, it was believed that trehalose was the tardigrade's secret weapon. Then, scientists discovered a bunch of tardigrade species that didn't even have trehalose, and they were still doing just fine without water. This means that they have a bunch of other tricks up their bulbous sleeves that we're not even aware of. One of these additional tricks is their ability to create a lot of antioxidants that would clean up molecules that would otherwise damage DNA. Another is their incredible capacity for repairing DNA. But this might be just the tip of the iceberg. These pudgy little dudes seem to have an answer for everything. We just have to tease it out of them and then overhaul our genetic structure and undergo massive bioforming of our physiology. But you know what I call that? Tuesday. Hey everybody, thanks for watching. It's good to be back. If this is your first science friction, subscribe for more and check out some of the previous videos. Follow me on Twitter and be sure to tell me what superpower you want.